Hi everyone, I'm Alex, your review buddy, and in today's video we'll have a look at this 60% mechanical keyboard from HeWings. I will talk about this product and at the end I will give you my personal opinion about this keyboard. There are chapters embedded in this video, so feel free to jump to the topic that interests you the most. When I took the package in my hands, I instantly felt the weight. It is quite heavy compared to other keyboards that I have. But let's see if this is a good thing. In the box, there is the user manual, the keyboard. Then in a side compartment, there are the two meter braided cable, type C, which is a must in 2021. Type A to Type C adapter and the keycap remover or puller. The HI200 keyboard has some weight to it, 561 grams. Now a good thing is that it will properly sit on the desk or flat surfaces and will not move while playing games. And the con to the weight is that it will be harder to carry around if you want to use it as a portable keyboard and have it always on you. It is compact at 29.1 by 10.1 by 4.1 cm, so it is easy to pick up and carry, takes a smaller space to store and use, but will the size make it uncomfortable to type on? We will see it later on. It comes only in black and has normal size keycaps. The charging port is at the top left corner, which I think it is a good position if you use the keyboard with the cable. If you turn over the keyboard, you can see the on off button. Personally, I prefer the button to be in a more accessible position, so I don't need to pick up the keyboard to switch it off when I do not use it. A great position for this on off switch is at the top right corner like the Logitech Craft has. If you look at the back of the keyboard, you can see that there is no kickstand. It does have a slight elevation at the top compared to the bottom, but what this keyboard needs is a wrist rest more than a kickstand. This mechanical keyboard has 61 keys. The main functions are at the top and the alternative functions are listed on the side, but they do not light up. It is quite easy to remove the keycaps with the puller in case you want to customize your keyboard with different colored keycaps. Once the keycaps are removed, we can see the switches. The HI200 keyboard uses blue switches, which are known to be quite loud. For those who do not know what blue switches are good for, they click when the command is registered, so you don't need to press the key all the way down. The switches used are called Otemu. Now these feature tactile bump and louder high pitch audible clicking. They are great for typing faster by feeling the bump instead of pushing the key all the way down. On the other hand, these are intentionally loud, so use them at your own risk if you're not alone. The switches are not hot swappable. What does it mean? It means that a hot swappable keyboard allows you to change the switches by only using a switch puller. So you literally just pull out the switches and plug in the other ones. These look to be solder switches and if you want to change them, it requires more work, knowledge and skills, but it can be done in the end. One thing to point out is the sound of the keycaps and switches. The sound is better on the left side of the keyboard and gets worse on the right side of the keyboard. There is a hollow sound on this side, hopefully the mic can, can pick it up. If you're interested to see how you can improve the sound on your keyboard, drop me a line in the comment section below. And if there's any interest, I will do a video about it. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe. The HR200 can be used with the wire. 
the one included or any other Type-C cable you have at hand. Once plugged in, the spacebar will turn red meaning that the keyboard is charging and can be used at the same time. It works across multiple platforms like PCs, Macs and even consoles. Another way to use this keyboard is by connecting it via Bluetooth. It has Bluetooth 5.0 for better, smoother connectivity and can connect up to 4 devices which is more than any other keyboard has to offer, usually up to 3 devices. Once you turn on the keyboard, it does this colorful circular dance and the letter E will start to flash, meaning that the keyboard is ready to be paired to the first device via Bluetooth. Once the device is connected, the letter E will stop flashing. To connect it to other devices you have to hold function plus R until the letter R will start to flash and then connect it to the device and so on for the letters T and Y. To quickly switch between the devices you have to press function E, R, T or Y depending on the device you want to use. It can connect to multiple platforms like Windows devices, Mac devices, Android or iOS of course if they support Bluetooth connectivity. The total number of devices that this keyboard can connect to is 5, 4 devices via Bluetooth and 1 device via the USB cable. If your device only has Type-C ports like the MacBook Pro, then you can use the Type-A to Type-C adapter from the box. In terms of features I can mention 4, so let's start with the main one, the RGB lining. It has 18 RGB backlight effects and 16 million colors. I can differentiate around 7 colors, but the change is smooth. In terms of customization, it can be easily made using the specific keys for the action. To change the color, press function plus forward slash. It will change from rainbow to one solid color. There are seven colors to go through. To change the brightness, press function and close brackets. It has four steps or levels and it will blink all white to let you know when it reached the min or max point. To change the speed, press function and these buttons and the same as the one previous mentioned. It has four speeds or levels and it will blink all white to let you know when it reached the min or max point. To change the mode, press function and enter. It has 19 modes. I will quickly show them all. To turn off the light, just press function and L. There is the option to change the WASD keys to arrows. To do so, press and hold for 3 seconds function plus W and to change them back to letters, do the same. The next feature is the clicky sound of the blue switches. There are pros and cons, so I will mention a few. To start with the pros,
You do not need to fully press the keys just until you hear the click which means that the command has been registered, but this requires a lot of practice. For the cons I have to say that you can't use the keyboard during the night if you don't live alone or when people are around you because it can be annoying and distracting. Another feature is anti-ghosting. For those who do not know, anti-ghost gaming keyboards give the benefit of rollover which means multiple keys can be depressed simultaneously and all register at the same time so that special move is triggered. Not all of the keys are anti-ghosting, just around 21 keys. In terms of battery life, there is nothing mentioned as to how big it is. The only thing mentioned is that it has a 7.4 Watt hour battery, nothing more. In order to give you an accurate information as to how long the battery lasts, I will have to run multiple tests but I will add the info in the description below or I will post on Instagram if you want to follow me there. Before I give you my personal opinion on this keyboard, let's talk about the price. The KI200 mechanical keyboard costs £59.99 on Amazon UK or $59.99 on Amazon US, but you can get it cheaper if you wait for offers or if you have any vouchers. In terms of competition, at this point, at this price point, there are quite a few, just to mention some more popular. Red Dragon, Royal Clutch RK61, Newman GM610, Apple Maker 68. I will leave the link to this in the description below should you want to check them out. Now is this keyboard worth it? This keyboard is compact which means that it is easy to pack and carry around although it is a tad heavy. Offers loads of customization but this is normal for any mechanical keyboard and can connect to 4.1 devices which is more than what other keyboards usually offer. As part of the cons I can say that if you want to get this keyboard just for typing all day you might want to think again because it is so compact and narrow the writing position is not that good. If you type all day long you might want to have a look at the bigger spacious keyboard or at an ergonomic keyboard. I got a review for that just click on the card above. If you are used with normal traditional keyboard or laptop keyboard or low profile keyboards as I am you will find the sound annoying and if you are around other people it can be distracting as well. If you are not bothered by this then the HI200 is a great budget mechanical keyboard to use. I will leave the link to it in the description below. With all this said we got to the end of this product review video. Hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. Let me know in the comment section below what mechanical keyboard you use and what are your favorite switches. Don't forget to like this video and share so other people can find this information. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.